Damn. Welcome to the Grease Factory, yo. Yep. Mike's here doing some uh, magic touches, as we say. Fixing the mic arrangement and making sure we don't get any phasing, etc. etc. I'll let Mike industry that. term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know. Uh, I'll just flash it on the screen. <laughs> yeah, here we are in today's office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the Grease Factory. It's my home studio. I've had it for 19 years now. Recorded many projects, productions, you name it. Anything from voiceovers to album tunes to video game tunes, film shorts, on and on and on. And what's exciting these days is that we're gearing up to record our album. So it's getting fine-tuned and it's getting prepared for all the grease that's coming your way. Mike is double checking all of our signal paths from each microphone to its preamp and right on into the computer interface, making sure that we have the best cleanest, grooviest sound possible getting recorded. A cool tidbit about my studio is that it was designed in collaboration with Steven Klein, LA sound guru. The design was made to ensure I didn't have any parallel walls. You'll notice how some of the rooms are separated at angles and how the ceiling is vaulted with varying degrees. Here, you wanna get Dexter? Hey Dexter. Meet you, buddy. Look at the camera, buddy. Dexter's the official studio dog for the grease factory. He takes care of it. Now, he's not allowed in there, mind you, because he'll chew all the cables and eat all the drums, but hey, whatever. <laughs> we sunbathe together. And he eats my jacket. I have like uh, one, a two, pretty good three, selection. like four different sets of different toms that you can swap in. Don't be afraid to move this stuff. I think that's, like that's our next thing, is that we should kind of figure out how that's going to work without messing up the way the mic's up. So Paul Gonzalez, he's a, a very, very accomplished drummer, educator, percussionist. He does everything, all kinds of hand percussion. He plays the, the kit like a monster. He's funky, he rocks hard, he does it all. And he's just a highly creative force behind, behind the rhythmic aspect of this band. And when I met him, he was really into uh, drum corps, drum and bass, you know, and I was, I was drawn to that eclecticism that he has. Now he's the go-to kind of Latin drum shredder of, of the LA kind of Latin music scene. And we're gonna steal him away from that life now and, uh, and take him on the road. So our two days of getting uh, Dig Infinity Sound Magic happening have come to a conclusion. And it's gone uh, successfully well thanks to Mr. Mike here. Well, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Proof is in the pudding. Well. Yeah. <laughs> now that we got our, our, our template for, for our drums, we will uh, get together with Polly on Thursday morning, bright and early again. Is that right? Bright and early. Except this time I should show up. Uh, early because I have to play. Then we're we are officially on. We're officially making the record at that point. We're starting. Yes. Crazy. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because the fun has only just begun. And like the video, share it, do do the thing, start the revolution. Yeah. If this was your first time joining us, welcome to the family. We'll see you soon. Uh, you know, things that may not be relevant to you as a listener, but uh, for those of us, uh, you know, doing
you um, this type of work. Um, it's important for, for us to use our insider jargon and uh, terminology to uh, basically separate uh, those who know and those who don't. You say your mundo não vai 